Hey everyone, welcome to this Blue Cat Axiom video in which we're going to try to get as close as possible to the sound of Iron Maiden on the song The Trooper. The Trooper was released back when Iron Maiden was in full force, uh, was the uh, spearhead of the new wave of British heavy metal, which is a musical movement that came right after British punk and took it higher, louder, faster and uh, even more guitar present, borrowing from the uh, twin guitar harmonies of Thin Lizzy, among others. On this song, we have two different guitar players, Adrian Smith with the Les Paul, which is going to be the second sound, and the third sound, which is going to be Adrian Smith's um, solo sound, so obviously a little more distorted. And the first sound is Dev Murray, which is on the left side of the stereo field using a Super Strat with the humbuckers. So this is why I'm going to be using this bolt-on neck Explorer made by Tony Giraud uh, with a bridge humbucker, which is a TV Jones Paratron to get as close as I can to um, Dave Murray's sound. Uh, I tried to respect uh, the way they divide up the part, Dave Murray being the uh, higher uh, harmony part. So uh, I'm going to try and split the screen so you can uh, hear both harmonies at the same time and try to see who does what in that video. Of course, all sounds are 100% uh, made with the Axiom plugin, which allows you to choose between hundreds of virtual amps and virtual pedals and racks to get a very realistic sound. This first sound is Dev Murray's sound, little treblier than Adrian Smith's, a little more attack and uh, slightly less gainy. Of course, Iron Maiden sound relies uh, heavily on Marshall amps, so this is what we're gonna be using mostly for uh, today's video. For this first sound, we're gonna go into the crunch kind of sounds. Um, that preset is called Vintage Crunch since this is not a full-blown uh, modern metal sound. Drive is pushed at 6.5, so quite high for what it is. Bass, minus 3, since back in those days, guitar recordings didn't have a lot of uh, bass frequencies like they have now. Mids, minus 15, very scooped sound, uh, especially for those days. Tone, 0.25, to open it up compared with the uh, original 0.20 or 0.22. And we're gonna add some ambience with uh, plate reverb. So this is gonna be factory preset vintage plate one. And I'm gonna bring the wets down to 0.35% uh, for it not to be overbearing. <laughs> Moving on now to Adrian Smith and his uh, Les Paul Gold Top. Luckily, I have one here. Uh, first of all, his uh, rhythm sound, which is a little more distorted and a little softer, uh, browner, creamier than Dev Murray's. For the Smith sound, I'm going to go into Drive and choose 80s Rock, which is slightly more compressed than uh, the previous sound. 
drive 6.4 so um, almost the same as the previous one except obviously it's not the same amp bass minus four again not too uh, beefy a sound mid plus one not as scooped but not so mid oriented either treble zero and tone 0.30 so quite open as well and i'll keep the same reverb setting to add that nice ambience <laughs> Lastly, here is Adrian Smith's solo sound, a little more distorted, of course, it's for the solo, and a little treblier in order to uh, cut through the mix. For that last sound, I'm keeping the 80s rock setting, except I'm bringing the drive down to 5, and I'm compensating that with a tube screamer in front, so green distortion. The setting for that will be drive at the minimum and all will be done with the extra gain, plus 7 on the gain. Um, I'm not uh, modifying the EQ, but uh, from its very nature, the green distortion will be adding a little medium to the sound. And uh, on top of that, I'm going to boost the mids to plus 10 the bass to zero, so not as um, scooped as it was before, and uh, I'll keep the reverb but add a little delay to that, multi-tap delay, and my setting is going to be um, 260, which is uh, double the tempo, uh, a little less than that, 80% decay for the notes to decay in a natural way, two repeats and mixed 10%, so very low mix, but it's going to be present enough since uh, the multi-tap delay is uh, very audible. <laughs> Finally, here is the complete sound featuring the three sounds I've just demonstrated. Mm -hmm. 